Welcome G. Namaste friends, welcome to my video blog. The main objective of this blog is to learn about these three topics, reverse proxy, Tomcat, MySQL. We will learn how Tomcat Web Server offers the dynamic online JSP servlet based registration form like this one. And then how the Tomcat stores the user's credentials into a SQL database so that the user is able to sign into our website quite similar to the way we register and sign into the Hotmail, Yahoo, etc. This is a real-world scenario and most of the companies use similar enterprise environment as ours. In order to get a thorough understanding of my environment, here is a quick rundown of all the involved applications and components. There are six virtual machines, five are Linux CentOS VMS, and one VM is running a Windows 2012 server. And the IP's range is between 192.168.1.100 to up to 104 for the Linux machines. Windows 2012 VIM has the IP 192.168.1.111. We will start from the right side where we have three users using different client browsers like Firefox, etc. In our case, the user one will be using the Linux CentOS 7.9 machine where the Firefox is the client browser. The goal is that the user one will load a JSP dynamic servlet web page called registration form that is running on the Tomcat. Tomcat is acting as a backend HTTP Java web and servlet web server. Tomcat Web Server is running in the Eclipse, which is the ID or Integrated Development Environment, especially used by the Java programmers for the development of the JSP servlet web projects. Obviously, companies would never allow users to interact directly with their web servers like Tomcat. Hence, users first contact a load balancer, which in our case, there are two load balancers of the type HA proxy. The job of the load balancer is to distribute the HTTP requests among the web servers, which in our case are the two Apache 2.4 web servers, which are also implementing the role of a reverse proxy. The reverse proxy receives the HTTP request from the load balancer and forwards it to the Tomcat server. Tomcat processes the request and sends the web page to the reverse proxy which hands it over to the load balancer. And the user gets the requested web page on his laptop screen. Since our project requires the user to sign up. Hence for storing his credentials for later authentication, we are using the MySQL database. Tomcat collects the credentials and saves them into the MySQL database table. 
For this action, the Tomcat requires an API called JDBC or the Java Database Connectivity, which is a Java API for connecting and executing the SQL queries in the different types of databases like SQL, Oracle, Microsoft, DB, etc. Of course, there is also another web server called I I S. However, I have already created a video tutorial about it. Now we will move over to the practical demo. As you can see, our operating system is Windows Server 2012. A quick look at the list of all the required applications like Apache, Eclipse, JDK, MySQL, MySQL Connector, JAR Files, etc. A quick glance on the configuration of Tomcat. As you can see that this is a standard configuration. In case of any conflict with the HTTP port number, we can change the port numbers from 8080 to any other number like 8082. To run a JSP website, we require the index page, which is the landing web page that the user will see when he types the URL into the browser window. Second is the login page. Third is the registration web page. And these are the technical details, which make sense only to the Java programmers. Now we will start the Eclipse IDE. In my case, it's already started. Next, we will start the Tomcat server, which is right now stopped. Our project is called Signup. Next, I will right-click on my project called Signup and choose Run as in order to run it in the Tomcat web server. Tomcat will load the JSP registration form that allows users for signing up. First, we will register our details as a user called Rahul. As soon as we click on the register button, the Tomcat server will store these credentials into the MySQL database called MyDB, which I had created in the MySQL workbench. After a successful sign up, the user will be able to log in or sign into our website. Till here, everything is easy as there are hundreds of YouTube video one can follow up, even if you have zero knowledge of any of these applications. The challenge starts now when we start using the reverse proxy. The difficulty was to let the Linux user contact the Tomcat via the IP of the load balancer and the reverse proxy. As you can see that the IP address of the Windows 2012 machine where Tomcat is running ends in 111. 
First, we will try to access the registration form directly as user1, which can be done easily by reaching this IP. However, the challenge arises when we try to load the registration form indirectly, meaning via the load balancer and reverse proxy. So now starts the fun. In order to prove that the reverse proxy works, we will need to contact one of the IP of the load balancers. We will contact the load balancer one at the IP 192.168.1.101. Now that the registration form or the sign up page has loaded on our screen, this proves that the reverse proxy is working as it has succeeded in forwarding the HTTP request to the Tomcat, which in turn has sent back the JSP page back to the reverse proxy and who in turn has then forwarded the JSP page to the user one. I will now try to register myself as Ravi and see if it works. Voila, it worked. Next, I will try to sign in. And it works too. By the way, we can also access the sign up page or registration form from all the other four Linux machines or any other machine as long as their IP address range is within the 192.168.0.0 till 192.168.255.255. Next, I will try contacting the load balancer via another VM as user Suresh and check if I am able to log into the registration form. Voila, it works. So this was a quick demo about the reverse proxy and Tomcat. The next video will be a comprehensive tutorial where I will try to show all these steps from A to Z meaning from installations till configuration. Most probably it will be a real world, live environment running in the public IP domain hosted on the hosting companies like Hostinger, DigitalOcean or GoDaddy. 
As far as the Java-based registration form projects templates are concerned, these are freely available in the internet and can be customized and tailored for one's own need. I will share the download link for such templates in the description. However, the rest of all the tasks like installation and configurations of the Tomcat, Apache, Reverse Proxy, HA Proxy, Eclipse, MySQL, etc. and setting up the Opersion system like Linux and Windows are to be done by us manually, which at times can be quite challenging. Thanks and bye.